What's up guys, welcome back to the Foam Ocean channel. I haven't said that for a long time because I haven't been active right here. Now, I am mostly focusing on my other channel, the FOMO Factory. I'm there every single day and there's a big difference between the FOMO Factory and FOMOTION. I wanna explain that and I wanna go over some low cap gems in this video as well. So the first thing I would like to explain what happened with the FOMOTION channel. Because the FOMOTION channel started, I started making videos on how to make Make your own coin that video kind of blew up more than half a million views and of course in the middle of the 2021 bull run a lot of projects came to me like hey we made this could you talk about us and a lot especially during the bull run did very well um and, and, and that was great content. We made a lot of money from these calls and we learned a lot together, but then the bear market came. And once the bear market came, projects still came to me, but in the bear market projects are unfortunately not all legit. And I made some calls that I completely regret. Um, a lot of projects, they didn't end well. They went down in price, some even rocked, and I felt like, oh my God, what, what, what is happening uh, right here? It was hard for me to see which ones were still good and which ones weren't. Um, and a lot of people, they, they, they thought like, hey, everything on this channel is promoted, and that was definitely not the case, but a lot was, right? So what I would like to change right now is um, I would still be active on the FOMOTION channel again. So if you are new to this, hey, we have a lot of crypto experience and uh, we're gonna do very well, but there is a big difference. My FOMO factory channel is doing really well. We get nice views, we get nice interaction right here. We have a smart audience. And on the FOMO factory, there is a link down below. Um, I'm active every day, standard. Every single day I'm there, bull market, bear market, crap market, whatever market. And here I mostly talk about the strategies, right? Um, so if you went to 100x, you know, in crypto, then here we talk mostly about strategies on how to apply that. We look at charts, not only for altcoins, but we mainly look at, hey, um, what's the macro doing? What is Bitcoin doing? How is the Bitcoin dominance looking like? Is it time to step into Bitcoin? When to reshuffle into altcoins, mostly good crypto gaming altcoins. And that's uh, a very good way to actually grow your portfolio because I said on that channel as well, making 100x with crypto is not just calling low cap coins and hoping that one does 100x because we all know that unfortunately most coins that are um, able to do 100x and have the potential are also the coins that are super high risk and the most will fail and you will lose your money anyway but if you are in Bitcoin, for example, and you ride a nice Bitcoin bull run, then you convert it back to altcoins later. When the dominance goes down, you can ride a nice altcoin season. So if you first make a 10x on Bitcoin, let's say you put it into altcoins and you make a 10x there, you also have 100x, but you never played that risky market. Um, that's the biggest benefit of that channel. It's um, our approach is like, you have to have some patience, but unfortunately that's what the market uh, needs you to have. But then you can definitely make some good gains without taking too much risk. Now, what I would like to do on the FOMOTION channel is the following, because I have been talking a lot about altcoins um, mostly on what not, not to buy, but the market is kind of turning around right now. And I have my crypto portfolio and there is a Patreon link blah, 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 down below, by the way, more than a hundred people in there, they get all the insights on my portfolio, podcast, personal consulting, a private discord server, etc. We even follow influencers while it's really cool. But, um, I have my portfolio, but I also have a moonshot portfolio. So what I basically have is my DCA 2023 portfolio with um, high caps, mid caps, some low caps, but some coins that overall, I think that portfolio is good for a 10, 20 X, but I also have my moonshot portfolio. And that moonshot portfolio is what I would like to go over on the FOMOTION channel. And I would like to review coins on this channel that 
maybe make it into the moonshot portfolio. So really quick, what kind of coins are in my moonshot portfolio? Well, I'm not going to show you everything, of course, otherwise I'm going to spoil it right now. But um, one of the coins that is in my uh, moonshot portfolio is Good Morning Fam. And Good Morning Fam, uh, you might feel like, oh shit, meme coin season again, here we go. But this is a meme coin made by Seedify. We all know Seedify, it's the number one launchpad in the crypto space. And they decided one day, like, hey, let's make a meme coin. Now, what I like about this is that it is super micro cap, but it is made, like I said, by Cedify. So there is a huge and smart team behind it. Now, at the moment, it's a meme coin, like any else, like with no utility. But what I do know is that in January, they're going to pivot. So they're going to add some utilities to Good Morning Fam, whatever it might be. I don't have inside information on that, um, but I know that this is a meme coin with a, not even a dark team, but a super professional team. They run a multi hundred million dollar market cap project. Um, and they have the power to make this work. And if this was already a $20 million market cap project, I'd be like, yeah, okay, whatever. But with the current 600, thousand dollars fully diluted feel like man there is a lot of growth uh for this coin right here so this is the type of uh these are the type of projects that i would like to review on this channel now another one before i'm going to spoil everything is for example spartadex spartadex also really cool what is it well Arbitrum is kind of taking over. It's quite new. It's a good chain. Uh, it's fast. It's cheap. It makes Ethereum work finally. And Spartadex is a gamified DEX on Arbitrum. So you might know about DeFi Kingdoms, how, uh, you know, that was built on Harmony One and now moved to AVAX. And that was like the biggest, one of the biggest hypes in the last bull run. Now this is kind of the same, but then on Arbitrum. Plus they have a launchpad, but the market cap is currently $3 million. Now I am not saying that this is the new DeFi Kingdoms uh, or anything, but if you look at their native token, Jewel, how that did in the last bull run, it went all the way to 1.2 billion dollars okay so um yeah three million one billion there's a difference right there these are completely different projects but i do feel like hey if it comes a little close to it it might be nice so what we're gonna do on this channel i'm gonna take the request um so if you have some requests leave them down in the or in the description you can't go there <laughs> in the comment section um, and we will go over these altcoins, but I'm also gonna, whenever I look for low caps, I just feel like, man, I'm gonna turn the camera on and upload it on this channel right here. I got completely kicked out of the YouTube algorithm on this channel, so we need to get back. I know there are a lot of people that are getting interested in crypto again, and we can do it. So please like every single video that you see, um, and um, yeah, let, let, let's just make a very good bull run because um, very quickly to show you what I think about the market, it's maybe not what you think, but um, when we look at the market, it's now November 2023, right? And if we take a look at the four year cycles, that's maybe a little comparable to November 2019. That was here, right? So if I look at the market right now, we are quite close, the blue lines are the halving, we are quite close to the halving like we were over here as well. We had a good crash before the halving came and then went into a bull market, right? Now, this was a COVID crash, I know, but still, right, here in this uh, pre-halving year, we also went down and that wasn't because of COVID. So there's still possibility for us, uh, in my opinion, to have a good correction. I'm not saying going all the way back to 15K, I mean, uh, but yeah, well, it happened before, but it could. But I do think overall, that we still have a little time to prepare before things really take off. And I want to make use of that time on this channel as well. I don't want to leave the loyal subscribers behind. Um, I know you came here for a reason. So it, it would be really weird if I say like, hey, thank you and uh, and bye right now. So I'll, I want us all to make it together in crypto. And the time 
at a certain point is running out. We still have time, um, but we sure should prepare right now. And it doesn't mean necessarily like, hey, I'm going to give some calls and you should buy that. Um, but I do mean like, hey, look into things, you know, um, learn, build a watch list and, and learn how to, how to DCA into that and when to do that. Now I'm getting a lot of knowledge. I uh, run my own project now. What do you mean? Um, we are part of Neo Tokyo. There is a lot of interesting stuff going on right there that we can learn from. And uh, I would just like to share my knowledge that I have right now on this channel to find the low caps on this channel, but also to find the low caps that have the potential, right? I mean, there could be a million dollar market cap coin out there, which is low cap, but if the project sucks and has no utility and has an undock steam and has a, uh, I don't know, like all the risky shit to it, yeah, then compared to what it does, it's not really low cap. What we're trying to look for are the quality projects that are low cap. So the projects that are really undervalued. I'm going to give you one more um you know uh what i'm looking at so you have a little idea uh, of what we're gonna do for example passage you probably haven't heard about it because it's quite new seven million dollar market cap and it, it it's like yeah it's not a fifty thousand dollar market cap but we're not gonna fuck with that right but passage seven million dollar market cap is really low for what they do so what they do is they are building a metaverse and you as a uh, developer can create your games in their metaverse now this is gonna be huge royce the five nine is like crazy i love that guy um but this is gonna be a huge freaking project and the cool thing is that it's only listed on osmosis and next c so once it gets listed on kucoin or whatever it's already quite too late right so therefore it's interesting for me to take a look at these kind of projects to review them like hey how's the price moving who's the team behind it what are they building what are the comparisons if we take a look at other projects and can we can come to a conclusion that it's over or underpriced at the moment so for motion is going to change the channel for motion is going to change um we're going to do it less risky more reward we're gonna learn right i don't want to just give calls i want you to know how to look for things as well so if you like the content Please like the content. Let's push it back into YouTube's algorithm. I know you are still out there. Um, and otherwise, I'm just just, yeah, just talking to myself right here. What kind of suck, dub? <laughs> so join me on this ride. We're going to make an insane bull market right here. And if you feel like, man, the daily content on the FOMO Factory channel sounds interesting, you know, just watch a video and I think you would like it. And also just subscribe right there. But all I need to say is we're back better than ever.